I have here a document that I'm going to use over in Google. I'm going to start off by clicking on Share. I tend to switch this from that default over to this just to make sure something has gone wrong for the student. They can still open it. Copy that. Done. Go back to my assignments. Set up my new assignment. It's going to be copy on uh, link. I'm going to have a description here. Some points. It's going to be file upload. Save and publish. I'm going to need a rubric maybe. I'll give it a Here's an existing rubric that I've got over here, MS150. I'll use that rubric. Uh, then I'll click on the pencil and use this rubric for assignment grading. Update the rubric, change the total points. And at this point, this is published. So I'll go ahead and should be able to throw that into a module. Run, copy on link. There it is. I'll need it. Go back to that guy. And I'm going to edit this to make it copy on link. Go into the description here and I'll paste this in just as plain text. Change this to the word copy. The word edit to the word copy. I'm going to copy that. Go to a link. Set that link up. That's the link, but I've switched it to, and you could obviously have a different, but that's just to show you what the link looks like. And at the very bottom, tell it to save this file. So it's saved, it's published. I'm going to go to the student view. The student's going to click on it, and when they click on it, they're going to see copy document. They can then make a copy. They then get a copy of the document. Copy of copy on link. I sometimes tell them they should probably add something to it. Once they're done with that, they've got their copy on link, they can simply go ahead and submit this assignment. Uh, it's useful to go to more options. Google Assignments LTI 1.3, the students can do this under more options. Use their college account if that's where they made the file. Hit switch if they didn't. There's my file I want. I say add, attach. It's not yet submitted. I have to go here. It's uploaded but not submitted. Submit assignment. Now, the assignment does take a few minutes to come across that LTI link. This is not an instantaneous process. So you'll see that this kind of spins for a while, and it will be available in a few minutes, from my experience. But that's the student's document is now, is now submitted, and the last piece will be for me to uh, mark that assignment. And for me, I'll be marking it from the speed grader. Now, it may not show up here yet. It does. If there is a delay between submission and processing and, and display in speed grader, as I say, it's a few minutes. But at this point, I can now use my canvas rubric to mark the assignment. So this is called copy on link, and that's how I use rubrics with assignments. It's a copy on link. But again, this. This will appear, but it will take a few minutes before it comes through the copy on link process. It won't be available right away, but it does work and I do use it. Uh, the other option, of course, they could download and upload their file at the, uh, from, from here. That's a, a separate option and they, of course, can submit by any other means that they, they, they wish to. But if you're trying to use these Google assignments, this is the way I use Google Assignments, is a copy on link, and the key is there. There is a page at uh, Google, try to get the link in below, uh, it describes this process as being the way to use SpeedGrader with, uh, with your drive files. Thank you for watching.